I'm just a spoiled little brat sometimes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just wanted to say sorry. I'm Christelle Rasmussen, and I've not been happy in a long time. And I'm Candy Warhol, and I'm the reason she hasn't been happy in a long time. And today, we're answering your questions about... Family. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome my personal organ donor, Nicole Sinclair. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hello. We heard that you have a bit of a dynastic dilemma. I was wondering if you guys could give me some advice on when it's a good time to introduce someone I'm dating to my seven-year-old daughter. Ooh. What's her name? Miami Ray. Oh, Fabulous. Miami Ray. Miami Ray sounds like the perfect package holiday. Book me a ticket now. Miami is totally in love with the thought of mummy finding a prince charming and running off into the sunset as one big happy family, us three together. Mm. But, yeah, there's not many of them out and about at the moment. Well, I guess that's an interesting question, isn't it? Like, it's not really about when is the right time, it's really about who is the right person, mm. right? So what we should do is maybe visualise the perfect guy for you in Miami. Family fortune, spin the wheel. Yeah. I need something to lean on. Can I actually get... <laughs> Gabe? Yeah, can can get I Gabe? get you, Gabe? Come on, I'm sorry, Nick. Come on, Gabe. OK, so I want you to throw some adjectives at me. Okay. And I go, tall. Oh, okay. I was going to go caring, but tall. Sure. <laughs> I like them big. OK, what kind of eyes? Nice, bright eyes. Nice, bright <laughs> eyes, OK. Oh, he's got to have an amazing smile. Um, like Gabe. Not too much hair. Too much hair. I think I've got it, OK? Oh, Gabe. Excited. Thank you, babe. I think this is your perfect guy. Oh, my God. Swipe <laughs> right on that. <laughs> You know? God, that four days in art school really did candy some good. I think the conclusion here is that, you know, what is the fucking I conclusion now after that? <laughs> I think the conclusion that we've reached is that it's not a time thing, it's more a personality thing. Yeah. I think it's just finding somebody that you're comfortable with and you're also comfortable introducing your daughter to. Oh, I wish I had a mom like you. Thank you. Yeah, you seem like a really good mom. Oh, that really means really a lot do. coming from you really too. Do. I'm having an affair with everyone in my family. We're now joined by little orphan Annie understudy and comedian Brennan Reese. Hello. So we hear you have a family feud that needs fixing. What happened? Well, get the violins out because a few years ago my mum and dad decided to get split up and they waited about a year to tell me. And I don't know what to do with it. They waited a year? Yeah, because they thought I'd get mad. And I did. Yeah. And I don't know why, because you know, they can live their own lives, but I'm just a spoiled little brat sometimes. The best thing about marriage? Divorce. I'm a mummy's boy. Are you? That's the thing. So she let me have whatever I want. Would go out on day trips. Mm. She wiped my ass. Yes. Like lovely things like that. Oh. Mm. I want a bit more of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you tried to speak to your mom since they've gotten divorced? Or are you just like, oh, I can't deal with it? Yeah. It's just sort of push it down. Do that manly thing. Oh, you're so manly. Well, I'll tell you what. I used to speak to her every day. Really? Now I speak to her about once a week. I think it's time to reach out to your mom. That would be something you'd want to do. Yeah. It's probably something I should do as well. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Let's let's make the call. Do you want to come and sit on my knee? Do I? I'll breastfeed you, Brennan. I feel a bit nervous. Hello? Hi, are you all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Basically, well, I just wanted to say sorry for being a little... Why? Just being a little shit. You've been dead supportive all the way through my life and, yeah. Oh, thank you. I know, That's but I'm gonna... I know, I know. Do you want to meet my friends? You don't have to apologise, yeah? Come on. Go on, say hello to Beryl. Hi, Beryl, nice to meet you. Hi, Beryl, I'm Candy, nice to meet you. You sound adorable. But I just want to say thank you and that I love you. Oh, I love you too. Thank okay. you. All right, thank well, have a lovely day. You too, okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye mummy. Bye, Bye mummy. Love you, mum. Oh, she really loves you. That was beautiful. There you go. Thanks. I feel like a weight's been lifted. OK, good. Mm. Oh, mm. we're so glad. Uh, I'm so not qualified for this. So, Candy, what did we learn about family today? I don't know, Crystal, but the cast of Say by the Bell, the new class, are here to show us. We're your sister and your brother. Gender's a construct. We're your evil stepmother. Ooh, daddy's got good taste. We're your niece and your nephew. Second cousins twice removed. We're your uncle and your aunt. And we'll be sexually inappropriate with you at Christmas. Okay. And see you later, mommy, we're your mom. 
Who's now? We'll pack your lunch. We got the goods to make your daddy proud. We can build a shed. We let you lock the door and you bring boys around. They can stay the night. Are you struggling? Have, Have you lost, lost your way? way? We're the dragon me on. It's gonna save the day. Spread your legs for me, Gabe. Uh, Gabe, doesn't this feel right? <laughs> Gabe, is this the best moment of your life? I know it is. Okay, thanks. <laughs>